Hey, it's Nick again, and uh, boy, do I have a treat for you guys. Uh, I'm making a video to show you guys the skull locations. So, uh, first things first, we're going to go ahead and start off with uh, the purple skull. I'm just outside of the church, and I'm going to go ahead and run into the sewers. So, uh, that's where I am on the map, and uh, let's get going. So, I'm going to go ahead and hop down there. Welcome to hell, also known as the sewers. Uh, plenty of zombies in here. Very confusing. Hard to find your way around. So uh, just just follow this step by step, and uh, you should have no problem finding these skulls in the drop off locations later on in the video. Uh, like I said before, right now we're going for the purple one, and uh, just take a right right here. And uh, now the kiting begins because there's a lot of zombies in here and a floater. And I'm going to go ahead and die trying to get up this ladder. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to when I respawn. And I'll talk to you guys in a couple seconds. Alright, so I'm on the second attempt on the ladder. Still getting hit. Uh, once you reach the top, you're going to go ahead and walk across the cat uh, catwalk. And just take a right. Take another right. And it's right there in the corner. Where, like the candles are. I guess they are. So just go ahead and pick them up. Shut up, Prina. Go ahead and pick them up, and I'll show you guys where uh, the drop-off location is. Now, uh, obviously, I fast-forwarded ahead quite a bit. I'm back at the back near the church. I'm at an abandoned house. Uh, it's it's the same abandoned house as uh, Alicia Jacobs. Uh, what she does is she gives you quests to clear her house for her. But I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and just walk up to her apartment. Maybe I'll find something and, useful. And uh, you walk over to the stove. Not the fridge, the stove, dummy. I'll go over to the stove, hold X, and uh, you go ahead and put the skull down. And any second now it'll disappear, and here's your developer's craft. Now right across the hall is uh, the blue skull, so I'm going to go ahead and do that one next. I know these are out of order, but oh well. Um, picking this one up right now. And I'll show you guys where, where that, uh, the drop-off location is. So, uh, I'm back on the first map on the resort. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and turn this corner. You're going to see a crap ton of zombies. And through the magic of editing, they're all gone. So, uh, save this guy. He says, oh, thanks, buddy. Um, this is where I am in the map. Uh, southeast corner. And that's, like, right there. That's the lifeguard tower. Just to give you guys, like, an idea of where I'm at. Uh, it's basically just hug the beach and you can find it. It's right there. Um, I didn't think so I'm going to go ahead and just talk to this guy and just run past him. And so because I spent too much time exploring, I just fast forwarded ahead a little bit. But once you walk in, just uh, go over to like this sewer grate right here. Walk through. And then you're going to go ahead and uh, climb up that ladder and pick up like an explosive barrel and blow up that door that I just looked at. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And uh, you walk around right here, and look at that, the turn in point for the blue skull. So you're going to go ahead and hold it again, and uh, here you go. Surprise. Not really. Now it's time for the brown skull. Alright, so uh, right now I'm in bunker number two. You can actually fast travel here by going there. So that's where you guys can get here a lot quicker. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and go ahead and go down this sewer grate right here, and uh, walk out, take a right, and uh, I'm just picking up some facts right now because that's what I do. Uh, but you're gonna go ahead and go through that door right there, walk around the corner. Oh my God, suicide! So he's gonna go ahead and blow up, and uh, 
after that, it should be pretty much clear for you to go ahead and pick up the skull, which is right there on the ground. Right there. <laughs> and uh, next, I'm going to be showing you guys where the drop off location so now I am back here on the beach again, just north of the light, uh, life, lifeguard tower, sorry. And uh, just to give you guys a point of reference, that's where the bunker was, that's where you found it. And there's the lifeguard tower. Uh, right now I'm on the beach, and what you have to do is you have to scale this mountain. And uh, it's not too tricky, but just watch how I do it, and you should get up there no problem. Bam, let's do this. Alright, jump it up the mountain, go up the wooden planks, then hop up here, and uh, just basically do like so. You see, that there's an arrow telling you, telling you like you're going the right way. Just keep hopping around, and uh, eventually when you turn one of these corners, it, it's a little bit of a, a climb. Once you get up there, eventually you'll be able to find it. Come on, Perna. And uh, it's right up here on the top, right to my left, where I'm going right now. Uh, once you get up there, come on, dang it. And you're going to go ahead and turn in this skull right now, and just once again, hold X like you always do. I don't even know why I keep saying that, but, but whatever. Uh, so I just turned that one in. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up my developer's craft, and that's where I wound up on top of the mountain. Just another look for you guys. Up next we have the green skull, and uh, right now I'm on the south portion of the first map again, and uh, as you can see I'm right there. Uh, basically that's where I found, uh, I think it was the purple skull, oh, that's where I turned into the blue skull, sorry. And there's one of the gas stations and one of the, one of the tunnels. Uh, up north you have the lifeguard tower, so it's a bit of a ways away down the beach, it's like the southern portion of, of like the first map. So, uh, once again, you have to do some climbing. So, uh, look where I'm going. That right, right up here. And uh, you're going to start hopping up these rocks. And once you hop over this ledge right here, you should see it. And right there is the green skull. So you're going to go ahead and go to the supermarket from here with the green skull. Uh, I'll make another video for you guys to show you how to, like, a quick and easy way to get to, like, the supermarket to go turn it in. But, uh, from, once you, once you enter the supermarket, it's pretty much straightforward. You're just going to go ahead and run in. And, uh, once you enter the supermarket itself, it's not that hard to turn it in. But you're going to go ahead and hop around the corner right here and uh, turn it in at this teddy bear. So that's pretty sweet. You, gotta, you have another one done. Next one is going to be the orange skull. And uh, actually in getting here to go turn this one in, we passed it. So I'm going to go ahead and take a step back. Oh, I hate these bits like so much. I'm just going to go ahead and keep kiting, like I always do. I like to run past enemies when I don't have to kill them. And uh, basically, those stairs we, we ran up before, it's right under here. It's in the shopping cart. So just go ahead and pick that up. And to go ahead and turn it in, just go ahead and go back to the city hall. 
and uh, that's what I'm loading up right now. So just go ahead and uh, run through the city hall real quick and go to the other side where there's another entrance to the sewer and once you get in there you'll be able to find uh, the orange skull turning point. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and travel to the sewers again, and uh, it's not that long of a walk, it's actually probably the shortest walk of any of them, I have to say. So you're just going to go ahead and hop across the water, climb up this ladder, and uh, the turning point is uh, in the room at the top of the ladder. So I just go, just go ahead and open the door behind me right here. And uh, I know I promised I wouldn't make long videos, but I felt like for the skulls I would just go ahead and combine them all into one. Um, like I said before, I'll probably make a tutorial about how to get to the supermarket from like, like the town, and I'll also make a video about how to get uh, diamonds. So uh, leave a like and subscribe. Uh, this is Nick, and I'm out.